So after experiencing the pain and suffering of Elden Ring, that makes you think jumping on Legos would be a better choice. Oh no. I decided to take on a new challenge with one of my favorite games, Cyberpunk 2077. I wanted to see, can I beat Cyberpunk with one HP? This means if I take any damage, no matter what it is, I instantly die. So let's see if I can beat this game with one HP. Starting this challenge, I put the game on the hardest difficulty to make it worse for myself. For my build, I knew the best choice of survival was stealth. I decided to kind of combine my gunslinger and netrunner build. <clears throat> uh, if you want to see those build videos, those will be in the description. Lastly, to make this work, I have to use a command with the mod cyber engine tweaks to force my health down. Because my health resets every time I die, I do have to put in the command every single time. The game starts with the easy scripted stuff where I fix a broken nose, get told to steal a car, meet up with Padre, tell a guy he's with shit around here. Try to steal a car, say hi to Jackie. Jackie! Get the fuck up. Fix another broken nose, and I think he has the hots for me. It's a kind of chemistry. Finally, I start a first mission where I remember I have a banana gun mod. I've played this game enough to know this first mission is super easy. I start off by hitting a dude's head so hard he vaporized, and with some choice distractions, I'm able to easily get through all this and stealth kill. Whoops. Save the girl taking a bath. Get back in the car. Here's where things went wrong. You see, car chases are somewhat scripted and very annoying. Oh no. Oh, you've got to be joking. <laughs> I died countless times before I even got control. And finally, when I got control one time, I missed all my shots because I had a banana gun mod. So I took that off. Again, I died a lot. And eventually, I got another chance and wasn't even able to kill a single person. I tried this so many times and wasn't able to get a single kill. And so I officially declare this as impossible. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Just kidding. I felt it wrong to end it here, so I went through the mission like normal, killed off the dudes, and figured I would love to see if the rest of the game is beatable with 1 HP. I get back to my house, meet up with Jackie, get my zoomy eyes, meet up with Dex, and with knowing my next stop is facing Maelstrom at all foods, I decided to try and go get one of my favorite iconic guns in the early game. After killing all the guys and finding out it's a level 7 requirement, I just do the mission anyway. Now, knowing what I know about this mission, I know there's a lot of solutions to figuring it out, and so I take the route that will lead to my best chance of survival, and that is to meet up with Meredith, grab the credits from her, proceed to neutralize the malware on the chip. After getting into all foods, hanging out with Dum Dum, give them the credits, give them a friendly bonus that Militech's onto you. Militech's onto you. Militech attacks, and now all the Maelstrom guys are my buddies and will help me in these next fights. I play this next section very cautiously, kind of room to room, die a couple times, but end up making it through fairly okay. I finally die the stupidest way I'll ever die, which is walking into fire. And finally, after getting out of combat, I'm able to start being stealthy and immediately fail at it. Turn a corner, get scared by a guy, and end up glitching into a box. Oh, why am I? What? I'm in the box. You know who you're messing with? Jackie, I'm stuck. <laughs> Help brother out. Okay, well, I gotta reload. <laughs> Start over all the stealth stuff and totally redeem myself. Now here comes the real difficult part. Two giant Militech mechs and a bunch of dudes in a room fighting Royce. <laughs> I decide to pop some shots here or there to help out but end up dying a lot and eventually think, why not just let Royce handle them? After trying throwing grenades and even getting down up close and personal and trying to hit weak spots. <laughs> oh, dang it. I remember Royce's iconic gun is a tech gun. And if you didn't know, tech guns can shoot through walls. So I take full advantage of this and begin shooting through walls and wasting over 300 bullets on killing these things. I finally kill both of them and finish the mission. Jackie and I get out of all foods, say what's up to the Militech guys, and I tell Dex we did the job. Next, I drive down to Lizzie's bar, meet up with Evelyn, say hey to Judy, hey Judy, do the boring brain dance stuff, and make my way to the afterlife to start the next main mission, the heist. Go over the mission with the crew, and me and Jackie set out to Kompeki Plaza. Say what's up to Hideo Kojima, use the spider bot thing to hack a dude, and listen to Jackie's dumb joke that you have to know the game really well to actually understand what he's saying. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? 
Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Get up to Yorinobu's penthouse, steal the relic, and hide from Yorinobu. Me and Jackie hide and watch Yorinobu and his father have a tap dancing competition before he strangles him with his invisible hands. I go stealth kill the dudes on top, go grab Satori because I want it, and me and Jackie jump off the building. Now again, this is one of those missions where they give you a lot of stealth kills, so I proceed to just go through this mission, stealth kill most of the guys in here, with a couple mistakes here and there. And eventually we get to the part that I've been dreading. This next section forces you into combat and has a lot of dudes and usually a mech. However, turns out you sit in the elevator long enough, the combat goes away, you're able to stealth kill everybody, and because no one was alerted, no mech shows up. Me and Jackie make it to Dell. Del and then starts my pain and suffering, a car chase. After dying immediately, I assume this is impossible, but then by my third attempt, I survive quite a while before getting shot and come to the conclusion, this is possible. So for God knows how long, I continue to respawn and fight these things. After a while, I realize I can start to use quick hacks to help me deal with these things and start to get some really solid attempts. Oh, I took out the big one. You stupid drones. No, 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 no. Come on, please. Please, 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 please. No. Oh, 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 oh. And finally, after about an hour of trying this, this happened. Oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no, please don't hit me. <gasps> no, look at that bullet. No. Oh, 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 oh. You. I did it. We did it, Jackie. We fucking made it. I freaking did it. Go meet up with Dex to talk about how bad things went. He puts a bullet in my head, and we start Johnny's flashback. We get in a helicopter, I watch a buff Silver Surfer take a bullet, proceed to kill everything, and after finding out my health total, try to minus it, and it ends up kind of breaking. So throughout this section, I come to the conclusion that if I just take any damage, I have to reset. Luckily, my first attempt, I made it through fairly effortlessly without taking any damage, taking advantage of the fact that Johnny's gun is a tech gun and eventually get captured by Adam Smasher. After waking back up in my body, saying bye to Dex, Takamura and I start getting attacked by Sokka Ninjas. And here's where I get to highlight how dumb car chases are. In this car chase, you're not allowed to actually die unless you don't put out the damage fast enough on the people. You can see here, I don't shoot this motorcycle at all, and so we end up failing. However, if I put some damage on it, then we're able to just get through it. All you have to do is put a decent amount of damage on everything and everything just explodes in its own time, not when you actually shoot it. It's stupid. We smash the Sokka Ninja into a pole and make it back to Vic's place for some help. I sleep on my bed sideways like a maniac, find out Keanu Reeves is in my head, and now it's time to get to work. I wanna work on getting my street cred up so that way I can purchase a lot of nicer things and turns out I have a dress that increases my street cred so your boy putting that on. I start by meeting up with Takimura as he shows me his drumming skills. And then Johnny does the same. And then I start doing side missions and things to level up not only my street cred, but my actual level. After hitting level 10, go meet up with Judy to find out where Evelyn is, go grab the Lizzie pistol, and because I have enough money, I get the epic optical camo. In my pursuit to find Evelyn, I head up to Clouds, talk with Woodman, go meet up with Fingers, and he does some ASMR for us. We ask for information on Evelyn, 
and eventually find out she was sold off to some people making videos. I approach this mission like I do all the others, where I just run around and stealth kill everybody. Made one small mistake. Don't shoot yourself. Make it through most of it with very little effort and help Judy save Evelyn. Ev Evelyn, you hear me? Do all the boring brain dance stuff again, and then I proceed to level up some more. Die the second dumbest way by walking on a barbed wire fence. And finally, after getting through enough missions to make enough money, I go get one of my favorite guns in the game, the Overture Revolver, at a legendary tier. And I cycled the vendor to get an electric type one, because I thought that'd be fun. I head to Pacifica, meet up with Placide, where he tells me he needs a mission before he can help me. I find out my revolver can one-shot dudes to the head, and I take full advantage of this. I fight my way through the animals gang, get killed a lot here, fulfill a part of the mission, and finally I'm faced with my next challenge, Sasquatch. After getting a stealth hit on her to take out a chunk of her health, I begin to unload with Lizzie, stacking the fire damage. She bolts over to me, grabs me, and I think I'm dead, but for some reason this move isn't to kill me, it's just to hack me. I'm able to get back up and easily win this fight with almost no issue. Finally find the Netrunner Placide wanted me to find. Placide tries to kill me because he thought I got corrupted. After confronting him, I finally get to meet Brigitte, the person I was looking for all along. We do a deep dive into Johnny's brain where we find out he's the complete psychopath. Tells his girlfriend off, tries to win her back, gets stabbed in the chest, she gets kidnapped. He asks some friends for some help, Arasaka shows up, and the battle begins. Get in Johnny's Porsche, and we start another car chase scene. I'll let other me take over. Oh no. Oh no. I forgot there was a car chase. There's no way. There's like eight people shooting at me. Yeah, I immediately get shot. This might be another impasse. There's just so many people shooting at me. How do I not get hit? I got shot immediately, again. One thing that sucks is when you pop out of the car, you're forced to look forward for like a half a second. Like I can't, like I'm gonna try and keep it back. I'm gonna try and keep looking back, it forces me forward. I didn't gain control until after I got hit. They forced me to turn around like that, and I don't gain full control until after I got hit there. Hey, you know what? This is Johnny's story, right? It's not my damage, it's Johnny's damage, right? So just to prove it to you how scripted these car chases are, I'm gonna unload into two of the cars, but not touch one of them. I'm shooting multiple clips into these guys, but if you notice, right as soon as we pass under this bridge, they blow up almost immediately. And then if I turn to the one that I didn't even touch, it takes three shots to take it out. Anyways, now that that stupidity is out of the way, let's finish off this mission with Johnny, kill off all the random dudes in here, and eventually make it to Alt, she's dead, and end Johnny's flashback. After finding out that Alt didn't die, but she's actually in the internet, we ask her to help us out with our issue. After hopping out of the ice bath, I think it's finally time I follow up with Takimura. After chatting with his friend Oda, and when Oda decides not to help us, we decide to go to a fixer looking for some help. While waiting for a call from Takemura, I decide to do some side missions, earn some money because I want double jump for the next mission. After getting the money and buying double jump, Takemura calls me up and I head over and we start to plan our next mission. After scoping out the place, watching Johnny roll off a building, I start the mission to break into Arasaka Industrial Park. Again, using double jump, I make quick work of this mission and parkour my way through the warehouse. After making it to the float, I hack into the terminal and finally get out and wait for Takimura's call yet again. While waiting, I decide it's finally time to go get Anders Hellman. And in order to do that, I need to pay Rogue a decent chunk of money in order for her to investigate for me. So I do some more side missions, level up a little bit more, meet up with Rogue, pay her the money, and finally Pan call up Pan Am. Be here. I meet up with Pan Am, tell her I'll help her with her stuff if she helps me with mine. We go grab some gear and take on a bunch of dudes called the Raffins to get Pan Am's car back. 
I did not get Nash. Now this next part was one I was scared for. This is another situation where you're forced into combat, and I didn't know how it was going to play out. And of course, as we're pulling in, Pan Am slides the car so my door is facing all the bad guys. Thanks. Uh, on the next attempt, I somehow don't get shot and I'm able to get out of there. Serpentine, Serpentine, Pan Am, take care of them. No, stay up. <laughs> After making it far enough back in the tunnel, it turns out you can get out of combat. Me trying to stay stealthy was getting pretty annoyed by Pan Am. Pan Am, stop shooting, please. Can you let me sneak? As we get closer to Nash and his crew, I come to find out if I'm hidden and not discovered, Pan Am can still shoot and kill everybody in this room, so I let it happen. I sit back and let Pan Am take care of quite a few people. I made a couple stupid mistakes as I always do. They're all driving up in their cars, like, de -aggroed. Oh, they're not de -aggroed. Oh, shoot. No! <laughs> no, not overheat. Not overheat. Don't you dare overheat me. I'm just gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> oh, there's the dangerous one. Got him. Okay. Good. And M, get up there. Start shooting, please. Ah, oh, frick. Got him. Okay, good. Finally, after all those mistakes behind me, I'm able to clear out this room and go get my other favorite iconic gun in the game, Widowmaker. I helped deliver the goods with Pan Am, take a nice rest in the sketchy hotel, and I finally decided to change out of my dress. I meet up with Pan Am, we talk about our plans to get Hellman. Crank it up to 11. Got it. We get into the power plant, I turn everything up to 11. We get up in position and wait up for the AV. As I wait for her countdown, I stare at the detonator and do nothing. Fuck me! Wake up! Bullseye! Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting With the AV engine still running, Pan Am decides to shoot it with a missile? Okay. That's how you do it. It's losing altitude. I watch the AV break dance, and we get into another scripted chase scene where luckily we're in an armored car. We pull up to the crash site, find Mitch. And I proceed to stealth kill all the robots in the area. Getting to the AV, Pan Am and I save Mitch. And after scanning for tire tracks, we find out where Anders left to. Again, because I know how this mission works, I stealth my way into the building, only have to take out a couple guys. After finding Anders, everything just kind of dies because it's supposed to be dead. As you can see by these drones exploding once I open the door. I knock out Hellman, take him back to a hotel, and I skip all the conversation. Now, in order to complete the game, you have to have three things. One, you have to have talked with Anders Hellman, you have to have met Alt Cunningham, and lastly, you have to have met Hanako. Knowing that I already had two of those done, and all I had to do was meet Hanako, and then I could do the end of the game, I knew that I was at the final stage of my level up grind. So I decided to go extra hard this time, got all the way up to level 27, Dang it. Invested a lot of points into technical ability and started crafting to get the money I needed to get the gear that I wanted. Craft a bunch of stuff, sold a bunch of stuff, bought my favorite cyber deck, bought my favorite quick axe, made a bunch of crunch mods, put them on all my guns, and was ready to start the final two missions. Be just in time. And we start the mission, play it safe, where I have to take out three snipers, one net runner, and Oda shows up, so I gotta take on a boss. The first sniper is really easy, and the second one is down a pretty large path full of a bunch of drones. I decided to use invisibility thinking it'll hide me, but I think they nerfed it since the last update, so it just didn't hide me as well as it should have. Somehow I'm able to get away and kill the one guy that spotted me. I easily kill the second sniper, and V says a cheesy one-liner. Kill off the remaining bad guys, and make my way to the third sniper and knock him out with a quick hack and melee him for good measure. Getting ready for my fight with Oda, I unplug the Netrunner and we start our fight. This fight was actually fairly simple. I'm mostly focused on using Widowmaker and Lizzie to stack chemical and fire damage and just kind of wait for his health to drop. Oda's pretty simple to deal with. He mostly sticks to melee damage, except for I will say his blades have a hitbox that's bigger than your mom. 
Oh, jeez. Every once in a while, he'll shoot a volley of bullets that I have to dodge. Oh, no! Oh, I knew it! But other than that, he's fairly simple. I'll shut up now and let you guys watch the fight. No, I knew it was coming! Frick! Uh, let's do this again. Cripple. Oh my. Okay, never mind. Of course you're here. Of course you're here. With Oda down, I hack into a camera network, Takemura knocks out Hanako, I get out of there with no issue, and make my way to the hideout. Okay, come inside, quick. After having a quick chat, Arasaka shows up, lights up the place, and Takemura stands there like a total giga chat. Trying to escape, I decide to try out the optical camo and end up failing. Dang it. <laughs> and after finding out my revolver can still one-shot these dudes, I'm easily able to make it out with no issue. After making it to a hotel, Hanako has an employee show up, and then she takes control and has a conversation, which I think is like kind of a really cool, interesting thing that happens in the game. I don't know. It was fascinating to me. She tells me to meet her at Ember's Hotel. After almost dying and Johnny saving my life, I make my way to Ember's to finish the game. I meet up with Hanako. Johnny decides to be a jerk. After getting back to Vix, and he tells me this is basically it, he gives me what I need to basically make a decision to end the game. And at this point, I've technically beat the game. When talking with Johnny, they give you two options. One is to take the blockers and finish the game what I consider the real way, or you can just put a bullet in your own head and call it good. But for me, that felt lame. So I take the blockers, call up Hanako. Anders picks me up in his wheels, runs someone over, and I get tasked with saving Hanako for being locked up in the estate. After clearing out the whole building, grabbing Hanako, we hop in the AV and make our way to Arasaka Tower. Hanako shows me her dad is actually Chancellor Palpatine. We interrupt a board meeting, show them Chancellor Palpatine, and then get suddenly attacked by all of Yorinobu's men. I decide my best chance of survival here is to run. After getting far enough away, I pull out Widowmaker and start popping shots through the walls. After meeting back up with Hanako, she tells me I need to find her brother. Must find my brother. After pinging one guy and seeing the sheer amount of enemies in this room and dying pretty quickly to them, I decide to turn on my invisibility and see if I can just run to the exit. Ooh, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh. I ride up the elevator, get the crap scared out of me by Hanako's men. At the end of the hall, there is an atrium in lift shaft. Oh, that scared the, the crap out of me. Tag all the dudes in this area and begin to shoot through walls. <laughs> no. Now, because I'm sneaking in an area where you're not supposed to be sneaking, there's some interesting scripted things that happen the way they're not really supposed to. Hanako's men and I finish clearing out the area, and I get into the elevator. After getting to the top of the elevator, they force me into combat yet again, and there's a lot of dudes. Luckily, although I do die once, some net runners take control of some turrets and do clear out the dudes for me. And here it is, the final barrier to beating the game, Adam Smasher. 
Now, I expected this to be hard, but I don't think I expected it to be this hard. You see, when I started, he didn't seem that bad. I was able to lock him down with quick hacks, shoot a bunch of bullets into him and reduce his health pretty quickly. Besides having to watch out for his gun on his arm, he wasn't that bad. No. <laughs> However, after getting him below 60% health, he decides to start using his shoulder cannon and starts doing AOE attacks. And if that didn't make it any worse, a bunch of doors open and four dudes with machine guns and two automated turrets drop down all shooting at you at the same time. And this right here was the barrier for me. I could get Smasher below 60 countless times, but it was killing all of those dudes without them putting a single bullet on me. Uh. And to make things worse, I'm so close to leveling up that killing one dude levels me up gives me five more health so I have to go back into the menus and minus five health again in the middle of combat. Ah, I got hit. This fight was one of the craziest and there were so many things to manage. Now here's a quick montage of all my failures. Ooh. Oh. Frick. No. I almost had the dudes. Oof. Oh no 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 no. no. Oh. I hate you, Smasher. Okay. I think that'll kill everything. And then I need to reduce my health by five because I just leveled up. My heart's racing. This is this is the shot. This is I'm gonna fail it right away, I guarantee it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Everything's dead. Everything's dead. No, no, no. There's more. Oh, I didn't know there would be another round. I hate you. I hate you. All of you. Hold up. Oh, did my game crash? No, that was such a good attempt. <gasps> oh, no. No, not more guys. Oh no. No. Uh. <laughs> Finally, after one crazy stroke of luck, I got this attempt. Adam Smasher, I fucking knew it.
Oh, I didn't minus my health. I haven't taken damage yet, though. Oh, no, no, no. Run, run, run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lock on. Please. Game. Is going crazier. Oh! <laughs> How about that, Johnny? That was the most satisfying kill of him you. I've ever had. Can I quick save? Oh, I can quick save. <gasps> I can't believe I just did it. I can't. Oh my gosh, I did it, guys. One HP. Besides, you know, the car driving scene at the, the very beginning, <laughs> and you know, the one with Johnny too. I was thinking of ending it right after I killed him, but I feel like I need a victory walk. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up, lady. I want to kill him. Can I kill him? Let's try it. It won't let me kill him. Wait, what happened to you? You're still missing your arms and legs, bro. What happened to you? <laughs> You're just eternally glitched. Ugh. Hellman, I did it. Aren't you proud of me? Incredible. A wonder. A marvel. Only took me three hours of fighting Adam Smasher to kill him. I'm good, boys. I'm quitting. I'm done. I got it. I'm done. I got my video. I'm done. <laughs> and there it is. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. And honestly, thank you guys so much for anybody who is subscribed to my content. YouTube has honestly been a passion and a dream of mine for many years, and I just now have started to be able to make it a reality. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want me to do more of this content, throw down in the comments below any ideas you have. I have one other idea, but that's about it right now. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.